Do magnets attract gold? Magnets are objects that produce a magnetic field, which exerts a force on certain materials. This force can either attract or repel objects, depending on their magnetic properties. The materials that respond most strongly to magnetic fields are ferromagnetic metals, like iron, nickel, and cobalt. These materials have atoms that align in the presence of a magnetic field, allowing them to be attracted to magnets. However, gold is a precious metal that does not share these magnetic properties. Gold is classified as a non-ferromagnetic material, meaning it does not exhibit the same magnetic behavior as ferromagnetic metals. This leads many to assume that magnets cannot attract gold, but is this true? To answer this question, it is essential to examine the physical properties of both magnets and gold. Understanding how magnets work, the different types of magnetic materials, and the specific characteristics of gold will shed light on the nature of their interaction. So, do magnets attract gold? Let's explore the science behind magnetism and the properties of gold to understand this phenomenon. What is magnetism? Magnetism is a force that arises from the movement of electric charges, particularly electrons, which are subatomic particles within atoms. This force can manifest in two primary ways, attraction and repulsion. Magnets generate a magnetic field around them, which is an invisible force field that influences certain materials. The strength and direction of this magnetic field depend on the orientation of the magnetic poles, which are north and south. Magnets can attract materials with specific magnetic properties, such as iron, nickel, and cobalt, and repel materials that do not respond to magnetic fields. When a magnet is brought close to a ferromagnetic material, the magnetic field causes the atoms of the material to align in a way that allows the material to be attracted to the magnet. In contrast, non-ferromagnetic materials do not exhibit this alignment and do not respond to magnets in the same way. Materials such as aluminum, copper, and gold are non-ferromagnetic. This means they do not show any noticeable attraction or repulsion when placed near a magnet. This basic distinction between ferromagnetic and non-ferromagnetic materials forms the foundation for understanding whether gold can be attracted to magnets. Despite the fact that gold is non-ferromagnetic, it is essential to note that not all non-ferromagnetic materials behave the same. For example, while gold does not align with magnetic fields, some non-ferromagnetic materials like copper can be influenced by magnetic fields in other ways, such as through induced currents. However, in the case of gold, its atomic structure and properties prevent it from exhibiting the strong magnetic effects seen in ferromagnetic materials. So, does this mean that magnets cannot attract gold at all? Let's look at the specific properties of gold to understand more. Gold and its properties. Gold is one of the most sought after metals due to its aesthetic appeal, durability, and unique characteristics. It is known for its lustrous yellow color, high malleability, and resistance to corrosion. Unlike many other metals, gold does not tarnish or rust, which makes it an ideal material for jewelry, coins, and even electronics. But beyond its beauty and practical uses, gold also has a unique property that affects its behavior in magnetic fields. Gold is considered a non-ferromagnetic material, meaning it does not exhibit the magnetic properties that metals like iron, nickel, and cobalt do. This is because gold's atomic structure does not allow its electrons to align in a way that would produce a magnetic field strong enough to cause attraction to a magnet. Gold's electrons move in a manner that does not respond to external magnetic fields in the same way ferromagnetic materials do. As a result, gold does not experience the same magnetic attraction that materials like iron or steel do when exposed to a magnet. Interestingly, gold does exhibit a very weak form of magnetism, known as diamagnetism. Diamagnetic materials, including gold, experience a very slight repulsion when exposed to a magnetic field. However, this response is extremely weak and can only be detected using very sensitive instruments. In everyday situations, the diamagnetic effect of gold is so minimal that it is not noticeable to the naked eye. So, while gold does not attract magnets, it does exhibit a faint repulsion, but this is not enough to make gold interact with magnets in any significant way. Does a magnet attract gold? Given that gold is non-ferromagnetic and only exhibits a very weak diamagnetic response, the straightforward answer to the question of whether magnets attract gold is no. Magnets do not attract gold. 
If you were to place a magnet next to a piece of gold, such as a gold coin, ring, or bar, you would find that there is no significant interaction. The gold would not be pulled toward the magnet, nor would it be repelled. This is because gold's atomic structure does not allow it to respond to magnetic fields in the same way that ferromagnetic metals like iron or nickel do. However, it is important to note that gold is often mixed with other metals to create alloys. For example, 14K or 18K gold is composed of gold mixed with other metals like copper, silver, or sometimes nickel. Some of these metals, such as nickel, are ferromagnetic and will be attracted to magnets. Therefore, if a piece of gold jewelry contains significant amounts of these ferromagnetic metals, it may show some attraction to a magnet. But the gold itself, if it is pure, will not be attracted to the magnet. The presence of other magnetic metals in an alloy can sometimes lead to confusion, but pure gold remains unaffected by magnetic fields. The Role of Magnetic Fields in Gold Refining While gold itself is not attracted to magnets, magnetic fields do play a role in the gold refining process. One of the methods used in gold mining and refining is magnetic separation. In this process, gold is extracted from ore that contains both gold and other materials. Some of the minerals or metals mixed with gold, such as iron or other magnetic particles, can be attracted to magnets. By using a strong magnet, these magnetic particles can be separated from the non-magnetic gold. This method is often used in the early stages of gold mining to help separate gold-bearing material from the surrounding rock and other minerals. While gold itself does not respond to the magnetic field, the presence of magnetic minerals allows for the separation of valuable gold from the waste material. Once the magnetic materials are removed, the remaining gold can then be further refined to achieve a high level of purity. Weak Magnetic Response in Gold As mentioned earlier, gold does exhibit a weak form of magnetism known as diamagnetism. Diamagnetic materials, including gold, respond to magnetic fields by producing a weak opposing magnetic field. This means that when gold is exposed to a strong magnetic field, it experiences a very faint repulsion from the magnet. However, this effect is so weak that it is practically imperceptible in most situations. The diamagnetic response of gold is not strong enough to make gold interact noticeably with a magnet. This weak response can only be detected with specialized instruments in a controlled laboratory setting. In everyday circumstances, gold will neither be attracted to nor repelled by a magnet in any noticeable way. This is why gold coins, jewelry, and other items made of gold will not move or be influenced by magnets. Despite its weak magnetic properties, gold remains unaffected by magnets under normal conditions. In conclusion, magnets do not attract gold. Gold is a non-ferromagnetic material, meaning it does not have the magnetic properties that would cause it to be attracted to a magnet. While gold does exhibit a very weak diamagnetic response, this effect is so minimal that it does not result in any noticeable interaction with a magnet. In practical terms, if you place a magnet near pure gold, there will be no attraction or repulsion. However, if gold is alloyed with ferromagnetic metals like nickel, the magnet may interact with those metals instead of the gold itself. Understanding the properties of gold and magnetism helps clear up common misconceptions about how magnets interact with metals. While magnets can attract many types of metals, gold is not one of them. Gold may exhibit a weak repulsion under certain conditions, but in most situations, it remains unaffected by magnets. 